weaver nests. Amazing avian architecture. Weavers are well known worldwide for their supreme nest weaving skills. In this video, I'm featuring 10 of our Southern African weavers. First, we start with the cape weaver. The cape weaver males start the nest by attaching strips of leaves, like grass leaves or pieces torn off reeds, to a thin stem. And then they weave a neat circle to start with. The tearing off of the leaves and all the weaving is done just with the bird's beak. Cape weavers usually build their nests in trees overhanging water and each male will build multiple nests in a colony. This male has passed the initial circle stage and is now adding the nesting chamber part of the nest. And this nest is attached to two twigs. See how he pushes the strands out to enlarge it and shape it. This is what the completed nest looks like. The males then display at their nests, hoping to attract females. The females inspect the nests, and if they approve, they will line it with soft nesting material and start incubation immediately. Once the female approves of the nest, the male will add the narrow entrance tunnel. However, if the females don't like a nest that he has built, he will tear it down and start building another one. Next, we feature the southern masked weaver nest. This male is starting off his nest in a tall tree far from water. And this male is starting a new nest and a completed nest can be seen in the foreground near water. A female was inspecting this one. Now for the spectacled weaver nest. These spectacled weavers nest solitarily and their nests are often in trees overhanging water. Their nests are recognized by their long entrance tunnels and fine weaving work. Usually the males build the nest themselves, but sometimes the females take an active part, as can be seen by this female bringing a long strip to add to the nest. They work together to weave it in. And this nest is near completion. It can take two to three weeks to complete. The tunnel can be extended by the male during incubation. Look how long this entrance tunnel is of this spectacled weaver nest. Next we feature the village weaver nest. Their nests are rather roughly woven compared to the other weaver nests. They are colonial nesters and each male occupies a section of the colony. He can build up to five nests and have most of them occupied by females. When the nests are complete, the males display at their nests, hoping females will come to inspect them. A female arrives at the nest on the left and the male moves off to watch from nearby. Now we feature the lesser masked weaver's nest. They are small weavers with small nests. Their nests have well developed entrance tunnels. These nests also have a spiky appearance from the outside because the threads aren't tucked away neatly. 
They nest high up in trees in colonies. Each male defends his section of the colony. Note how some of these nests are attached to the old nests. Next is the scaly feathered weaver nest. They build their nests deep inside a very thorny tree, like an acacia tree in the Karoo. They use long dry grass stalks that are curled around to form an enclosed ball. And the nest looks rather untidy from the outside, but it's neater and more cosy inside. Next up is the dark backed weaver nest. They nest in forests and they are monogamous and solitary nesters. Their nest is easily recognizable because of the coarse material used to construct it. It has an untidy finish with lots of loose ends and loops sticking out in all directions. They use roots, tendrils, fine stems of vines and creepers to weave this intricate nest. The entrance tunnel is about 10 centimeters long and it is also at an angle of about 25 degrees. It is not vertical like the spectacled weaver nest's tunnel. Next up is the neat nest of the eastern golden weaver. These eastern golden weavers are polygamous and they breed in colonies in reed beds along rivers or lakes. This one is just starting his new nest, which will be attached to two reed stems. And this one has just completed the initial ring stage. And this one is starting to add the nesting chamber to the initial circle. See how neat this completed nest is. Every thread is neatly tucked away. This male is proudly displaying and hoping to attract a female to his new nest. The next nest featured is another neat nest, that of the thick bold weaver. These weavers are also polygonous and they also nest in large colonies in reeds or bulrushes. Their nests are made of very, very thin strips of bulrush leaves. And this fine material is tucked away very neatly and it gives the nest a smooth texture. These nests are our only weaver's nests with a side entrance. This male is watching a female inspect his nest, but she doesn't seem to approve at all and flies off. And no amount of displaying brings her back. However, when a female does approve of the nest, she starts gathering fine nesting material to line the inside with. And here she can be seen pulling fine pieces of leaf material off with her strong beak. The male will then add a narrower entrance to the nest. The female is adding the soft material to the nesting chamber now. And soon she will move in, and egg laying and incubation will begin. And lastly, the nest of the white browed sparrow weaver. Pairs and their family group build and maintain about 10 to 12 nests. They roost in these nests year round, 
and only one of the nests will be used for breeding. They are found in the semi-arid savanna. These nests are rather untidy balls of dry grass near the outer branches of thorny trees, like acacia trees. The roosting nests have two entrances, one at either end. Whereas the breeding nest has only one entrance and the nest cup is lined inside with soft material. To conclude, weavers are amazing architects of intricately woven grass nests. In this video we have seen them attach their nests to thin tree branches and reed stalks, but some will even attach their nests to man-made structures like razor wire and even electric fencing. These weavers are very resourceful and they can thrive in many different environments. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and post any comments you have down below.